in 2021, I posted a video, I think it was 2021, it may have even been 2020, but uh, at one point in the past couple years, I posted a video, if I remember, I'll put an image of it and a link to it up, up, up in the upper right, um, that talked about the demise of the EOS blockchain. And I talked about a few, reason, a few reasons why the, the chain had failed and posted it on YouTube and tweeted it. And it was, it was fascinating to observe the responses that I got to that video just probably more than I've more than I've ever gotten on one video that, uh, that I've ever posted the uh, EOS nation spoke up in volumes and gave some legitimate reasons why I was wrong so I second guessed it I took that took that feedback and went and did some research and quite honestly found that there are, at least at that time, there were a number of really interesting projects live on EOS that, about which I had no idea. So I was thankful for the feedback and, and the opportunity to go back and research things and started taking advantage of some of those solutions, quite frankly, and um, also began to accumulate more EOS. I think it, uh, I think, I think the technology is stunning. Uh, I mean, <laughs> fastest blockchain, at that time, fastest blockchain, you know, now we have, uh, we have some other entrants in the field, uh, running the race to take that title but really a pleasure to use so unfortunately here in 2022 I, I must admit that my EOS bag is significantly less valuable than it was back then haven't sold it but have noted, I, I had reason to look at it recently because of something I saw on Twitter. And uh, I noted that it is significantly less valuable than it was when I began accumulating again, which is fine. Fortunately, I'm not a maximalist when it comes to any, any coin. I hold a number of them will continue to hold a number of them. There's just no reason to be uh, dedicated to, to one chain. So yet again, I have seen something pop up on Twitter here that uh, speaking is, is beginning to speak of the resurgence of EOS. And so I find myself yet again asking the question, do I, do I once again begin accumulating EOS? And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A few days ago, I did, um, I did watch a video. I don't know if I watched the whole thing, but I did watch at least some of a video by someone who has historically been super bullish on EOS. Uh, EOS, EOS San Diego is the name of the YouTube channel. I believe Ken is the proprietor of that channel. And a recent video, he is, he is not super bullish on, on EOS these days, it would appear. In fact, in that video, he talked about, I think the title of the video is how to turn $4 billion into two and a half billion. And he talks about the key, the key message there is not living up to promises, not living up to expectations. It's how Block One 
took their four billion dollar bag and reneged on the promise to invest in the developer community. And if that is true, that is quite disappointing. I also remember a snippet of that video where effectively uh, Dan Larimer disavowed knowledge of a particular project on EOS. I don't know that that project was really all that significant or how much time had lapsed between Larimer coming coming into contact with that project and the time where he was being interviewed where he claimed to know nothing about it. But uh, just kind of an interesting sequence of events. As I drive here, random stream of consciousness, do I begin accumulating more EOS? Um, like the technology, like the applications that I've used on the chain, I don't know. What is the future direction, though? Uh, there was one of the one of the big events that the community had been looking had been looking forward to, or maybe still is looking forward to, is the launch of the bullish exchange. And forever, my interpretation of that has been, well, great. There is a new exchange coming online, but there's nothing to indicate that that exchange is going to be solely dedicated to EOS. You're going to be able to go and ostensibly trade what you want to trade. Where is the, you know, bullish.com, you know, it's in the name, but how does that translate into any material benefits? for EOS, the public EOS blockchain. Inquiring minds want to know. Leave me some comments down below. I'm sure this video is likely to be um, a catalyst for some. Hope you're doing well, stay safe, and I look forward to exchanging commentary with you. You'll see me in the next video.